What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to recreate a soft glam makeup look that I did not this past weekend, but the weekend right after Valentine's Day. Um, me and my boyfriend, we've been together for years and years, so we um, didn't really want to like make a big huge deal out of Valentine's Day just because like all the new fresh couples or like just people that are really big and into Valentine's Day we're gonna all be out on Valentine's Day and we just really didn't want to like be a part of the chaos so we decided that with a group of um, some of our friends they're also a couple we decided that we just wanted to do like a double date thing and so I wanted to like be pretty and be glam but I didn't want to like overdo my face because what we were doing was so much fun um, and it was more active so I didn't want to be like full beat and then like be sweating and stuff but um, if me and Bae decided we want to like take a cute selfie together or something I still wanted to like be pretty for that so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing that makeup look that I created in the thumbnail then keep watching this video okay so I already did um, kind of like my skin prep that I do before I apply my makeup off camera. Um, so I am going to start with my brows because when I start with my brows, it makes them look uh, bolder. I feel like they just stick on better um, when they go on bare skin versus over some sort of like foundation or cream product or whatever. So for brows, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild ultimate brow micro brow pencil and it doesn't say the shade name on the actual pencil but I do remember from the box so this is in the shade ash brown so this pencil has the dual ended side it's got the spoolie on one side and it's got like the little twist up top product on the other side so I use the spoolie side first and I just brush all my brow hairs straight up Then I like to, with a very, very light hand, start to kind of trace out the brow shape that I want. So I don't really do a lot of waxing on my underneath because those little extra sparse hairs, um, to me, they kind of make the brow look a little bit fluffier and natural, and I just like how that looks. Right, as I apply product, I use the spoolie side and I just brush the product through and just push those hairs up just to see if I missed any spots and to kind of blend out the product and soften any like harsh lines. And then I do the same thing I did to the bottom and kind of map out the shape of the brow that I want. Okay, so I have my brow all mapped out, um, the shape that I would like, and I'm actually going to do my other brow off camera real quick, but then I'll come back to show you how I clean up my brows. Okay, so my next step to my brows, I like to use um, the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. It's really to the Glossier Balm, or the like popular one that is basically this packaging in reverse. I don't know how to say it exactly. It's the boy brow. Yes, the boy brow. Basically, this is kind of like the cheaper sister dupe to this one. Um, the only difference is I've heard between the two um, is the color pop doesn't have as much like thickness and hold as the boy brow does. But I like mine to be a little bit softer anyway. And like I said, this is a little more affordable, so I'm okay with that. So I like to use this in the shade clear and. I run it through my brows and I just push all my brow hairs kind of up and at an outward angle. So to clean up my brows, I have been obsessed 
like the Fenty Beauty concealer, y'all. It is so good. All Fenty Beauty has set up their concealer shades is they are a corresponding brightening shade to whatever your Pro Filter foundation shade is. So if you're in the shade 310 and foundation, you'll be the shade 310 and concealer. And then I'm using this tiny um, foundation brush. It's real skinny, real thin. You can kind of see the shape that it makes. Just cute and tiny like this. And I warm up the product onto the brush, onto the back of my hand. And then first I clean up underneath my brows. And I don't try to just do it all in one swipe. I do little short connecting strokes. That to me gives me the cleanest line. It doesn't really dry down as quickly as the foundation does. It's pretty creamy. So I could let it sit and do the other eye first, but my OCD makes me blend it out right away. I'm gonna use a little sponge and blend that concealer out even more across the lid. We're going to prime with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I love this primer. It's just so nice and hydrating. Good stuff. You do about like one to two little pumps. Apply this all over my face again, just like I do my moisturizer. And I just make sure I really work it in to all my little creases and crannies. So for primer, I'm also going to use this little Farcelli Drops. Uh, this is the Unicorn Essence. And I like to just put a tiny bit right here on the apples of my cheeks, across my forehead because I get some fine lines right in there. And then kind of right on where my smile lines are. And I just lightly pat that into my skin. You can kind of rub it in. So for foundation, I love to mix my foundations. So I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I'm gonna mix that with my Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Um, so I actually have in the Fenty Beauty Foundation, I have the shade 350. And when Fenty Beauty first came out with these foundations, this was the first foundation I purchased because um, they tried to color match me and they said that they felt like this was probably going to be the best shade for me but it is actually too orange for my skin tone um, especially once it oxidizes down it gets a lot darker um, that's another reason why I like to mix them but also if you guys don't know the Fenty Beauty is super matte um, so the little bit of dewiness from this guy will kind of give me the perfect balance that I want. And I'm just going to squirt one pump on like my hand of the Fenty Beauty, one little squirt of the Infallible. So to mix these two foundations on the back of my hand, I'm gonna use this little flat foundation brush. Again, I this is a brush I've had forever, so I'm sorry, I don't know what kind of brush this is, but any little flat foundation brush like this will work. And I just like to mix the two products on the back of my hand and really work the product into my brush while also um, warming it up on the back of my hand as well. Also going to use this little foundation brush to shape out the top of the brow. I love to use little tiny brushes for blending because I just feel like they get into every little crevice you got on your face and you get a more flawless buffed out effect when you use smaller brushes. It's 
just like more detail work. Now I'm just gonna use this um, Real Techniques sponge, pick up whatever product is left on the back of my hand and just bring that down my neck. So before I finish any of my face makeup, now I'm gonna go in and do my eyes. And again, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Concealer. I'm gonna put just a little bit on my lids, kind of like a eyeshadow base. Just blend that out. Real quick, I'm gonna put some Fenty um, Beauty Diamond Milk lip gloss on. Girl, my lips feeling dry. And this stuff is so good, so hydrating. And it's just like gorgeous. Like, I could not think of a better name than Diamond Milk for this sexy box. Shout out to Ree. So for my eyes, I'm going to use this Dream Street palette. This is from ColourPop. Um, and this is actually Kathleen Light's collab with ColourPop. It has all these gorgeous shimmery shades and a lot of kind of like warm peachy mattes which I like and then it's got this super bright vibrant blue and then a, like a shimmery version of it where's that right here blue is like popping these days I mean remember like we would call people grannies for wearing blue eyeshadow but blue is like having its 15 minutes of fame right now um but I'm not using blue I'm going to Keep it real soft. I'm going with this shade called Shooting Star, and it's just kind of like this uh, nice uh, taupey brown shade. I'm gonna put this all in my crease. Going right in with this Morphe M513 brush. This is like a nice big fluff brush, and I want it to look really diffused, buffed, and blended. So I'm okay with using a bigger fluffy brush because I really want this to be blown out really blown out real smoky doesn't have to be super neat boom it's kind of hard to see it on camera but um so my lights are a little bright i'm gonna pop that same color into this outer corner so I really like how that shade kind of defined out my crease, but I want to deepen it up just a little bit more. So I'm actually gonna go in with this kind of peachy, orangey shade called Potion. And I'm going to put that on the outer third of my eye. Give it like a little pop of something, you know? I'm gonna go in to this little light shimmery shade right here, this like baby pink, it's called Moony. Okay, so I'm really feeling this, but I'm not gonna lie, my glam monster is itching and scratching for some sparkle. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Sweet Dreams, pop this onto the inner corner. You were dying for it, girl. It was cute. Cute and sexy. Mm. Okay, so that's it for eyes for now. We might come back to them after we finish the face. We'll see. Back into the Fenty Concealer. I'm going to go straight off the applicator. I'm gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. Right down the center of the nose. And I go over the chin. And I got a little front right here, if y'all can see him. I'm just gonna pop a little bit right over that guy right there. And if you have a lot of fine lines underneath your eyes like I do, a little trick that you can try that I really like to use, I like to just get a little handheld mirror and kind of hold it up 
So here is a little contact that I have from MAC and literally just hold it up like this. And that way I kind of am forced to look up at the ceiling with my eyes so I can really get into those fine lines underneath my eyes. I'm gonna do one more layer and I'm gonna focus it more right kind of where the apples of my cheeks pop up. And that product, I make sure I work it around my nose as well as kind of into my smile lines. And I like to go across my lip. Again, with the little corners in my mouth. So it makes my lipstick look sharper when I get to that point. For contour, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. I use the shade Coco and it is like down to the nitty gritty. I cannot twist up any more product, but the way that I apply contour, that's okay. Cause as long as there's a little bit in there, what I like to do is take a brush and just swirl right over the top of the product. And to me, that gives me like the perfect amount. So I just like to buff it onto a foundation brush or like a kind of fluffy brush like this. And then right into my jawline, I swirl. And then I kind of push it in to the skin. Should be a Fenty Beauty Soft Glam look. Maybe that's what I'll call it. Yeah. Now I might pinch the brush. I'm just pinching that brush and just sweeping contour over the natural edge of my, you know, my nose bridge. And then I like to go over the tips. And boom. There you go, you got a nice natural nose contour. I think I'm gonna go back into the ColourPop palette and I kinda wanna smoke my lash line just so when I do put on some lashes, um, it kinda looks nice and blended right there. So I'm gonna use this chocolatey cocoa brown color called Elfish and using just like an angled brush, I'm just gonna smoke right across my lash line. It's always best to place your product and then go over the edge of it and lightly buff over that edge. That way so you don't buff away your product completely um, and you get like a nice clean smoked out edge or whatever it is that you're smoking out. back with the lashes and now we're gonna dust away this bake. To dust away bake, I'm gonna use this Morphe M, ooh, Morphe E8 brush and I put a little bit of translucent powder into the cap. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of product right on the tip of the brush and then knock off the excess, you see? A little bit right there and then I'm gonna very lightly just 
flick away my bake and I want to really really melt and fuse my cream and my powder products together real quick so I'm going to go in with good old um, touch of dewy mist and I'm just gonna give this guy a shake and then spritz all over my face so I can kind of bring back that dewy light glam I was going for initially I'm gonna use a sponge and very lightly tap over that product all right girl we are melted we are fused together we are looking like flawless skin For blush i'm gonna use the milani baked blush in the shade luminoso and i'm just sweeping this right over the top of my contour I even like to sweep a little bit across my forehead because this blush does have a little bit of shimmer in it. Okay. And then, of course, I'm gonna use my Master Chrome Highlighter, my fave. This is in the shade Molten Lava. If you have not tried these yet, they're amazing, you need to, and they're super affordable. I get them at my local CVS. Using this Morphe M510 brush and my setting spray. Just gonna spritz over this brush a little bit before I put some highlight. I'm gonna like to start at the high points of my cheekbone. And just let the definition from my cheekbone just kind of catch the brush while I sweep over it. And I'm also gonna go with the tip of my nose. Right in between the brows right here. For lips, I just want to use this NYX um, Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Natural. So I know I look a little crazy and watch that right now. My lips look a little ghostly. I'm just gonna line my lips with this MAC lip pencil and this is in the shade Cork. So if you wanted, you could stop here. I actually wanna try to put this um, Velvet Blur Lipstick, this is from ColourPop, um, and the shade is called CA Love. Mmm. 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 Right there, we don't know. Mmm. I really like these lipsticks because they are, for one, extremely affordable. They're like $7, um, but they really are hydrating and they just create a nice blurred effect across your lips so not a whole lot of like creasing and lines in your lips just a nice smooth velvety texture and I'm feeling this. Mm. okay y'all so one last thing because you know I'm a glam queen I can't even help but to keep going but I promise this is the last step this is optional if you want I am in love with the Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk Gloss Balm. It is everything. Like, you need to try one of them. You need to try Fussy. You need to try um, her original one. I can't remember what it's called, but I used to have it. And all of their form, they smell so good. They're so hydrating on the lips. Like, they're everything. I'm just gonna pop a little bit right in the center of my lips. And then boom, I'm done. Soft glam, done. No more, girl. I'm cutting you off. This is a soft glam beach. You don't need nothing else.
the eyes are so soft um, and still just like wispy and pretty. I love this look. This is going to be my new go-to um, everyday look. So yeah, um, let me know down in the comments below how y'all felt about this video. Oh, also let me know if you have a staple product that you've used for years and years that you feel like you will never change up on them. You won't always get the same energy with that product. Mine is the Sephora Micro Smooth, of course. I live and die by this product. It, if I don't even have anything else, like I need to have my Micro Smooth because it's actually a really um, pretty shade to put on. It's like a powder foundation too, just like something really light. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ooh, don't let it touch your brow, girl. Don't let it touch your brows. For blush, I'm going to use Milani's. Ooh, hold on, girl. I got a hair.